In these problems, we are being asked to identify the coordinates of various figures after certain transformations are applied. And I don't have graph paper here, so we're not going to be precise about graphing them, but we're going to uh, make some sketches and then just use our common sense to figure out what the right answers are. The first one says, identify the coordinates of the image of the triangle with these vertices, negative 3, negative 5, negative 4, 8, and negative 2, 6, formed by a reflection over the y-axis. All right, so let's take a look at this. Here's the y-axis. So we're going to be reflecting this triangle across that y-axis. And let's kind of draw in the, the vertices here. So negative 3, negative 5 is maybe down here. Uh, negative 2, 6 is going to be up here. And that was C. I missed B. Negative 4, 8. Well, I, that's going to be way up here, okay. So we've got this big, tr big old triangle. And since we're reflecting it across this y-axis, um, everything's going to end up over here in these, in these two quadrants over here. So none of the y values, sorry, none of the x values are going to be negative anymore. They're going to be positive. And they're going to be the corresponding positive point. So if this is a negative 3 over here, it's going to be a positive 3 over here. So the A point is going to be positive 3, and the easy part here is that when you're just reflecting over the y-axis, the y-coordinates don't change at all. So that stays a negative 5. B is going to be, uh, that was negative 4, 8, so it's going to be a positive 4, 8. And C was a negative 2, 6, so that's going to be a positive 2, 6. So what happens when you reflect across the y-axis is that you switch the sign of the x-coordinates, keep the y-coordinates as they are. Let's try another one. It says, what is the image of 1, 6? So just a single point. If it undergoes the same translation as p, which is negative 4, 2, translated to q, which is 0, 9. So this is a two-step thing. There's a translation going on here, and we want to figure out what the translation is. And I'm going to put that in my little vector notation here. So there's some x and some y change. Well, what is the change if you go from negative 4 to 0? Well, that's a positive 4. You'd have to add 4 to negative 4 to get to 0. So positive 4 for the x. And how about the y? It goes from 2 to 9. That's a change of positive 7. So there's my transformation, sorry, the, the translation. Now we're going to apply that to 1, 6. So I'm simply adding 4 to the x, adding 7 to the y, and I get 5, comma, 13. Not too difficult. Now let's look at one more here. It says, find the coordinates of the image of the triangle with vertices, et cetera, et cetera, for a rotation of 180 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So this is going to be a little bit more tricky, and we'll have to think about this carefully. Let's go ahead and um, think first about what happens when you rotate something counterclockwise about the origin. So let's say we have a point here. Let's pick um, 3, 1, okay? we'll see what happens. Now, if you rotate this, let's just go 90 degrees counterclockwise, so the opposite direction of a clock about the origin, it would end up being up here. This would be 3 comma negative 1. So what you can see, sorry, this would be negative 1 comma 3. So what you can see is that for 90 degrees, we switch the x and the y around, and we make um, the x coordinate negative. That's for 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then, if we're going to do 90 degrees more, we end up with negative 3 comma negative 1. So what has happened here? Well, all we've really done with this is made the x and y coordinates negative. So when we're going to rotate 180 degrees counterclockwise, x comma y just becomes negative x comma negative y. And since we know that rule now, we can just apply it here. So a would be negative 4, and then a negative negative 3 is a positive 3. 
so negative 4, 3. B would be negative 5, positive 4, and C would be negative 2, positive 2. And that's all there is to it.